esta conferencia comenzará a grabarse. So welcome to this new session of the European Alliance against coronavirus. Uh, you know that today we are going to speak about the Eurocluster call. It will be the second session on, on this topic. And uh, before I start, it's important to note that we are going to record this session and we will share it in our channel. So if you remain with us, you are accepting that. Okay, um, most probably you were with us past week when we presented a summary of the call, but anyway, we think that it will be good to have a recap, just a short recap on this, and we will go later for uh, some comments on the question launch it. Unfortunately, not answered. <laughs> but launch it to the European Commission, the Euro, and um, we will dedicate the last minutes of this session to have some pitch presentation uh, from those of you that um, show interest in proposing or presenting your cluster here. So, Nina, will you make the review of the call? Good. Good morning, everyone. Yes, just a quick um, overview. Maybe some of you were not here um, last week and to introduce our session. So what are we talking about? We talk about the Euroclusters call that was now launched for Europe's recovery um, under the name Joint Cluster Initiatives. And what the European Commission is looking for are 30 cross-sectorial, interdisciplinary and trans-European strategic joint cluster initiatives, which they call Eurocluster. For what? To give support measures to companies, either within their ecosystem or also across um, different ecosystems, to support the green and digital transition and to build um, social economic resilience, and to also um, create and reinforce collaboration networks at EU level between different entities, so between cluster organizations, but they could also team up with other types of organizations. And for this, there are 15 different strands, one open strand, which um, is there to um, cover value chains across different ecosystems and to cross fertilize um, the different 14 industrial ecosystems mentioned in the industrial strategy and 14 specific strands that cover each individual industrial ecosystem that you can see here in the screen and that we've already talked about a lot as well in our sessions. And proposals must focus on only one of these 15 strands. What needs to be addressed? Um, there are five specific objectives mentioned in the call text that need to be covered by the proposals with the possibility to focus on one leading objective um, of these five. So the first one is um, the building of a network of resilience. The second one to innovate for strategic autonomy, especially for most critical suppliers and technologies in the ecosystems. The third one to adopt processes and technologies to reinforce the transition. The fourth one is um, according to training for re and upskilling of the workforce and to attract talent. And the fifth one is for internationalization activities that go international um, objective to boost access to global supply and value chains. And in total, um, there are 42 million as available for the budget with an individual project budget of a maximum 1.4 euros, which need to be um, split into 75% that go directly to the SMEs as the main beneficiaries and 25% to cover the activities of the cluster organizations and the consortium partners. They aim at funding around 30 projects, 17 for the open strand and at least one project for each individual ecosystem strand this could also vary according to the cortex dependent on the proposals they receive. Deadline is the 30th of November and the information on the evaluation results is to be foreseen for April 2022. 
that was it. Sorry, perfect, perfect, Nina. Thank you very much. So this is the the summary. We sent an email to the um, degrow uh, contact email address uh, past week with uh, the a summary of the question that arise during the, our last meeting. I don't know, Nina, if you could share it, just for general knowledge, okay? Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't have any answer until now, okay? Or most, most uh, more clearly, we had the answer that they will estimate if they, the, those uh, questions are in the general, the, the, of general interest, and if so, they will ask, will ask it then in the um, call space. But as far as we see, they have not been answered. Okay, there are only two questions, and we have tried to see the problem. With, sorry, Lydia, could you please mute your uh, Mike, Mike, if you don't mind. Yes, thank you very much. We have tried to download the template. You know that there is a problem with it. As at least for us, it it is not possible. Okay. So uh, I don't know if any of you have been able to do it. I suppose no. If if any of you have been able, please tell us. So now, so we we continue in the same situation as past week. Now it works because the call opened on Monday. No, no, no. Uh, could you please, Marta, had you been able to open it, the template? Yes, hello. Yes, and not the template, the standard template, the PDF that was there as example, it was still not working, but as they opened the call, you can go to the submission service and download the full package. So if you start sub click on the start submission, then you uh, can uh, can see that yes, you have to confirm it, and uh, and then you see on the on the left that there is a, a download part B templates. Ex yes, exactly. And this is what uh, what uh, there is a template for the part B. There's the template for the budget, and uh, so now it works because they opened the call. It they changed the status from forthcoming to open. Wonderful. Thank you very Thank much, you. Uh, Marta. Very useful information. Okay. So. Okay, so we have now the possibility at least to download the documents and the template, but not uh, we don't have the question answer. Would you please, uh, Nina, come back to the questions? Go back. Okay, so um, we will see. As soon as, as we have uh, any answer, we, we, we will share then. Okay. They will be shared anyway on the on the frequent asked questions of the call. Uh, this is what we can share with you. I don't know if you had any any information from uh, from your side that uh, you could you would like to share with us before going to the presentations. Antonio. Hello. 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 Thomas Kroger from Poor Vehicle Future. I have just one question. It's just a minor thing, probably, but 42 million is the available budget for funding, as the 25% the for cluster actions are only co funded by 90%. Um, does that mean that the uh, funded budget? can be slightly higher than 1.5 million, or is this a budget, or is this a co-funding maximum, 1.4 million? We don't know for sure. We, we, we can review it, or even ask it, okay? But I cannot answer you at this moment, audit. But very good question. We will 
we will study it or acid if needed. Okay. Sorry, we don't know if the UK is uh, eligible. Somebody know about it? Did somebody review it? Again, I don't remember if we asked about it. Nina, did we ask for We the did, UK? we did ask, yes. Okay, so it's something that, uh, I don't know, we could expect to have an answer in the future. Okay, any other comment or questions? No? Yes, Adrian, oh. can I make? Uh, I have put a question in the, the chat. How are you? What do you think will be the factors that uh, will be most important to give a proposal successful in uh, terms of evaluation, from your opinion and from the call? Uh, that is a very hard question, uh, uh, Jaime. I, 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 you, we need to answer the the main goals of the call as always with every call okay in this case is to uh, if nina could go back to the to the presentation yeah uh, to the beginning okay uh we need to cover those specific objectives okay and to do it in 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 the best way possible or the most interesting way for the future of uh, uh, the European economy and, and, and on building capacities from the cluster networks. So it's a very difficult question, Jaime, you know? Every, every um, industrial ecosystem has different realities, okay? And different challenges. So I understand that what they want is not a just single one excellent proposal for everybody, okay, for every ecosystem. They want to see a proposal that um, really answer those challenges, specific challenges, okay? And um, there are some challenges that cross a different ecosystem, okay? Um, they want also to see those kind of challenges answered. So it's not about just one, in my opinion, huh? just one generic approach. I will say that it's very important to show that you know what is happening in your uh, ecosystem or, or in the value chain that you are working with and that you are planning on doing something really uh, strong clear uh, focus on how to how to improve the situation and how to make that ecosystem more competitive uh, more resilient digital green and so on so in, from my side not 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 a single <laughs> answer for that question it's totally um depending on the on your, the area that you are covering with your proposal in my opinion Okay, so let's go for the presentations. Nina, would you introduce them? Yes, so we um, thank you, first of all, to all of you who shared with us that you're interested in uh, shortly presenting your clusters. We received it through the form and we organized it um, according to your interest in this trend. If you Sim gave us the answer you're interested in more than one strand we put you into one and indicating the other one so if you don't see yourself being called upon one of them you will probably be called upon in the next strand so please be patient for that and we would like to um, give you the floor so open the microphone when you see your um, cluster in your name and to please go ahead and share with us a short description of your cluster and your interests in the call. Um, I will just go ahead. So the first one is um, Ilaria Masari.
Good morning. Good morning to everyone. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Antonio, and uh, uh, all of you. Uh, so, um, may I have? Um, can I share uh, some slides? Is it uh, possible? Or uh, you prefer? Yeah, yeah, very quickly, because uh, we wanted to have two minutes by person just to be very quick. But if okay. you want to, please. No, no, no. no. I will I be. Thank you, thank you. So I am gen the general manager of Ray Reindustria Innovazione, that is a local development agency. So a public-private partnership based in Lombardia region and mainly focused in in. Uh, um, oh, thank you. I see the the, the share uh, possibility, uh, but if you see my slides, okay. Sorry. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can see the. So okay, I will go really fast. So um, the the um, our local development agency focuses on attractiveness, on uh, research and innovation, uh, uh, innovative startups, and. Uh, uh, governance of the local territory in partnership with uh, all of other actors, university and uh, private associations. Uh, I wanted to uh, offer the possibility to uh, come in contact with the Lombardy Cosmetic System, that is uh, the network, the cluster network we are coordinating um, together with uh, Cosmetica Italia, uh, Polo Cosmesi and uh, five universities in the Lombardy region. The dimension of the cosmetic supply chain in Italy is really uh, strong and uh, I will leave you this date, this data, so so uh, I will go really fast. Uh, when we talk about cosmetic value chain, we are not talking only on the final production, but also on machinery production, primary, secondary packaging, all the um, third party packaging. And so it's more than just beauty. Um, the final application are really different. I'm not going in deep, but of, I will leave you these slides. And uh, uh, we have a, a um, very consolidated approach in internationalization together with all the networks involved and all the other also clusters of uh, Europe uh, involved. Um, that's it. That's it. That was the network that I wanted to present to you and give the possibility to come in contact uh, in this, in this uh, call. Thank you. Thank you, Ilaria. You are very welcome. Um, perfect. Next one. Nina? Ah, Timus. Thank you. Loic Marin. Yes, I thank you. Can you hear me? Because I know that yes. I'm from. Okay, thank you. Well, uh, CIM is the French um, pole de compétitivité dedicated to mechanical engineering, manufacturing and production performance. We are located in auvergne rhône alpes and Nouvelle-Aquitaine. We gather around uh, 300 members, uh, universities, companies, SMEs in big groups around the emergence of innovative collaborative projects. We have uh, three main pillars in our thematic roadmap, which is the engineering of materials and surfaces with a big activity around um, metallic additive manufacturing. The second pillar is robotics, integrated robotics. And the third one is the um, pillars around green aspect, green manufacturing regarding resilience, recovery of companies, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I think I'm right now. So please, if you are interested, please contact me with pleasure. Thank you, Luik. Um, uh, as you see, we have put the email addresses here um, as well for the contact person. If you feel also free to share it as well in the chat so that the people interested can contact you. Let's go to the next one, which is Innovation Greece.
We are not hearing you. Sorry. Now, can you hear me? Now it's perfect. Oh, thank you. Uh, sorry. I'm Vasiliki and I represent Innovation Greece. Innovation Greece is an association of 14 innovative uh, Greek SMEs who are developing uh, innovative products and are still of excellence holders and beneficiaries of SME instrument program phase one or two. Uh, Innovation Greece companies are uh, operating in a wide range of uh, industries such as marine, nanotechnology, science, com computer science, engineering, uh, environment and energy, and uh, many more. Uh, the cluster has recently been funded for uh, to implement a lifelong training program called Innovation Greece Innovation Skills, which aims to educate the Greek employees from the public sector uh, to innovation management, project management, and new product development. Uh, based on the variety of the, our members' profile, uh, we are open to the open strand and uh, feel free to reach us through the email. Thank you very much. Thank you to you. Functional print cluster. Hi, good morning. Can you hear me? Good morning, Susanna. Yes. yes. Uh, good morning. Good morning, and thanks for this opportunity. Uh, as you say, my name is Susanna, uh, Susanna Barasoin, and I represent the Functional Print Cluster, a transversal cluster. Um, we bring together 90 companies, uh, technology and knowledge uh, centers, involved in activities related to the support and development of advanced printing in Spain. Uh, our general objective is to be a transmission mechanism for new advanced printed technologies from a perspective of a new business opportunity, bring new application and new developments that can be carried out using these technologies to the industry and the market. Uh, functional printing uh, consists on the manufacturing of products with new functionalities using traditional printing technologies and also innovative technologies as coating or additive manufacturing or the combination of all of them. Those technologies are transformed using advanced inks on all types of substrates, paper, plastic, textile, everything. We can produce a really high innovative product with multiple applications, low cost and lower environmental impact as new electronics, biofunctional devices, packaging indicators and elements combining additive manufacturing and electronics. Um, at the international level, we are leading a Cosmego International uh, an e for health project together with four other European clusters from Germany, Latvia, Poland and Romania. Um, we are working together right now in the internationalization of advanced electronics in three non-European markets, US, Japan and Israel. Uh, to, fit, to summarize, uh, everything can be functionalized using the right technology and knowing the correct challenge and business trends from the markets is why we are working uh, on, on the trends of mobility, Internet of Things, wearables, health, smart food packaging. So we are really open to listen to any kind of suggestion or, or line of work at the moment. Thank you very much. And you can see my email there. Thank you. Thank you, Susanna. Let's see who's next. Ah, so we also put uh, our head in the ring. We um, representing in this case the cluster idea from Aragon, Spain. Um, our cluster is focused on digital solutions in ICT and exists since 2004. And our members come from different sectors. So they include the digital industries, but as well user companies from multiple sectors um, covering uh, different ecosystems that um, would be possible also for um, different proposals uh, for the ecosystem relevant strands. But what they all share, our members, is a high interest in innovative digital projects. So, for example, in the last years, the cluster developed um, advanced international projects in the field, for example, of the Internet of Things or artificial intelligence. So, as said, we are either interested in participating in a pro proposal in an open strand, but we could also join consortia in the digital industries or any other ecosystem strand. Altogether, we have 70 members and partners, 
partners, both from um, both our SMEs, but as well as big companies, some of which are leaders in their fields, as well as the two universities of Zaragoza, the city we are located in, as well as public bodies, for example, here the city hall. And our cluster groups, a net billing of around 17.5 billion euros. And we currently have um, 10 employees in our cluster. Um, ED accounts with a high level of expertise in training and skilling as well. So we have um, been working and we are working on projects in collaboration here with the Regional Employment Service in Aragon in skilling employees in the regions and bring them into work. And we are also very invested in our region through an initiative that is called um, Sumando Empleo Aragon, which is a collaborative platform with the objective to reinforce employment and entrepreneurship here in the Spanish region to mitigate the effects of the crisis in the society. And then we are active on national level through the presidency of the Spanish National Federation of Clusters, which groups um, 70 members in diff of different regions in Spain. And then, of course, on European level through um, the presidency of the European Clusters Alliance, the context in which we are here. And IDEA itself has also experience with European projects. We are currently implementing an INISLAB project, which is called Mind the Gap, with a consortium of 11 partners to make the mining and raw materials value chain more sustainable. So if you're interested in um, working with us on a proposal, please don't hesitate to contact us as well. And going uh, next, we have um, Meta Industry 4, the cluster represented by Jose Mara Ramon Natal, who couldn't be here with us today, but he sent a video message that we would like to share with you. I hope that it will work. Good morning, my name is Jose Ramon Natal. I'm the cluster manager of Meta Industry 4. Meta Industry 4 is the advanced manufacturing cluster of the metal industry in Asturias. We are located in Asturias, a small region in the north of Spain. And our cluster is composed by around 70 members. 60% of them are mechanical engineering companies, and the rest are uh, advanced services and IT companies, competence centers, uh, highly specialized in IT, um, advanced manufacturing technologies, university, and public administrations, uh, public agencies uh, related with uh, business support services. Our cluster is focused on several global value chains, especially in renewable energy, oil and gas, um, uh, steel industry, and now we are developing a new uh, global value chain related with green hydrogen. We are very interested in um, participating in next uh, Euro clusters uh, call, especially in three strands, open strand and the uh, strand of industrial ecosystem uh, in energy intensive industry and the industrial ecosystem strand in renewable uh, energy. From our position, we can provide to a, a future consortium uh, our, our experience, contact and knowledge uh, with related with our participation in uh, several European projects, especially in Indosub. We are currently working uh, with Keskit funding and uh, our participation in Clusters Go International, in which we are uh, looking for business opportunities for SMEs in Africa in the renewable energy field. If you want to know more from about us, we can try to, to talk and reach um, agreements in future collaborations. Thank you very much. So thanks to Jose Raon for his uh, video message. If you'd like to contact him, I will put his contact information in the screen again.
Let's go to the ecosystem specific strand of agri-food and here we received um, the information from Inovi that they would be interested in this particular ecosystem. Well, hello everyone. My name is Victor Tirado. I'm the project manager of Innovi, the wine innovation cluster of Catalonia. We are located near Barcelona and we've got around 80 members. Half of them are uh, end users that ha have been working on different European projects. Right now we are on four different projects. One of them is a Cosme project where we've uh, promoted the creation of the Wine Innovation Cluster Alliance. So we've got, we are in contact with uh, different clusters from our value chain. We are also working on the Agrobo Food Project, and we would like to highlight like this because we are working with Cascade Funds and Open Calls, so very close to SMEs. We are also working on tech transfer and training, where we've got a pruning academy, so uh, we work both uh, on agriculture but also industrial training. And uh, well, two of our main focus are sustainability uh, with climate change adaptation and mitigation and digitalization, where we are working on IoT, blockchain, big data. So we would like to work mainly on the agri-food sector, but we also worked on different, as you can see, we've got uh, the whole value chain, so we can work on different fields. Whatever we can bring to the consortia, uh, just uh, just count on us, especially for, for the wineries, the wine sellers that are the end users. Thank you. Thank you, Victor. Uh, Pauline Baudin, do we have you with us? Yeah, hi. Hello. Um, nice to meet all of you. So I'm Pauline Baudin, in charge of Open Project um, in Vigipolis Valley. So it's a French competitiveness plant cluster. Um, so we're gathering uh, more than 500 members. Um, industries, research centers, technical centers, universities. Um, and so they are all dedicated to the plant, sect plant, plant sector, but uh, all along the plant value chain. So it's from the upstream to the downstream. So we have different main focus of uh, innovation. Uh, we can uh, work on the more the agri suppliers with uh, plant breeding, farming equipment, digital and new technologies but also the production uh, with different type of plant production. It can be this, the, the large crops, but also vegetables, uh, wine, um, aromatic medicinal plants. Um, and it can be also the valorization of plants. So it can be for food, feed, uh, the nutrition, the well-being, the cosmetics, uh, also human farming. So these are all the fields that we are working on. Sorry, Pauline, there are communication problems. We are not hearing you. Perhaps you could they activate your video? Pauline, we are not hearing you. Sorry. Sorry, Pauline. Okay, Nina, I think that we need to, to go to the next one and perhaps later we could return to Pauline. We will do so. Let's see, uh, Pauline, if you can uh, check your internet connection or your audio connection. Um, the next one is uh, Asinka from Asturias. Yeah, hello, good morning, everyone. First of all, thank you very much to Antonio and all, all the team for, for this organization and giving us the opportunity for pitching, okay? So I am Roberto Moran, I am EU Program Manager in, in Asincar. We are an agri-food cluster in the northwest of, uh, of Spain, formed by practically uh, 100, uh, 100 
uh, industrial industrial members coming from the from the whole food value chain, from uh, raw materials providers to uh, distributors and supermarkets. Uh, we support agri-food companies on their main challenges. So green and digital are on the top of uh, our agenda. And in this line, we provide different uh, kind of uh, services like uh, matchmaking, different types of awareness and dissemination activities. And we have also a, a, a relevant technical team uh, supporting for uh, diagnosis or consulting services, uh, especially focused on uh, the technological dimension. We provide also a lot of uh, vocational training uh, for active workers and also uh, to for employers that, that are trying to work in the in the food industry. Um, to be a reference, we have uh, practically uh, 1,000 uh, students, uh, workers uh, passing through our installations every year. And from an infrastructure point of view, we want to highlight okay that we have in our uh, facilities uh, a pilot plant that is a space of practically uh, 500 square meters that reproduce uh, a food SME with the different uh, working areas, equipment and working flows that you could find in, a, in an SME. So we really support the, the implementation of a living labs approach uh, for going from uh, the lab or from low TRLs to uh, the industrial settings. Just to finish, uh, we are familiarized with uh, European projects. We are currently participating in six Horizon 2020 projects. And part of them are uh, cluster lead. So uh, we participate in one COSMET project that uh, just finished end of the last year. And we are currently uh, working on S3 Food, that is an InnoSoup project that is related with the digitalization of the, of the food industries. So we will be happy to, to explore uh, collaborations uh, with, with other cluster or organization in, in, this, in this call. Thank you very much. Thank you, Roberto. We also received the interest from someone uh, for the electronics ecosystem um, from Secaptis. Uh, Jordi, you have the Hi, floor. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. My name is Jordi Ortiz. I'm the CEO of Secartis. Secartis is an organization uh, with five different clusters in the solar energy, renewable um, energy storage, um, lining, industry 4.0, and digital transformation and electronics. Uh, we have a wide experience on, uh, on European projects. We've been involved in more than 12 projects in the last uh, five years. Um, we tend to integrate um, all the value chain in our clusters we have from uh, uh, universities, from um, in innovation centers, um, produ producers, sellers to service providers. So we include absolutely everything in the supply chain. Um, our main goal is to drive competitiveness um, to all the business in our cluster and also drive more a sustainable industry since we are we are focused a lot on renewable energies from the solar and the energy storage point of view. Like uh, and the strengths, like mainly as is mentioned in this slide, in digital industries, um, renewables, and the electronics that um, that we've been placing there. So we are very open to collaborate. As I said, we have wide experience, and so feel free to contact us. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um, under the health ecosystem, we received interest from the Hellenic Bio Cluster. Evi, are you with us? Yes, thank you very much, Nina. Good morning, everyone from Athens, Greece. I am the scientific coordination manager of the Hellenic Bio Cluster. HBio is the first and largest biosciences cluster in Greece, bringing together the innovation leaders of Greece in the sectors of pharmaceuticals biotechnology, diagnostics, medical devices, and specialized services. Uh, we were established in 2006 by an initial group of eight companies, and now we've grown uh, to over 70 innovation-intensive companies with an international outlook. Um, we aim to boost the development of the life sciences industry in Greece, to promote the Greek life sciences sector in the international scene, and to facilitate business and research collaborations between local and inter international companies and research groups. 
Um, uh, as I told you, we have uh, uh, expertise in um, uh, generics, drug formulation delivery, repositioning, diagnostics, clinical trials, animal model testing, uh, specialist services, and many others. So anyone who is planning to uh, prepare or is interested in preparing a proposal for uh, life and health uh, sciences um, is more than uh, welcome to contact us and uh, work together uh, in drafting something interesting. We're also partners in COSME uh, consortium and uh, many other uh, European um, projects. Thank you very much. Thank you to you. Going to renewables that some of you also expressed interested interest in, here we have the Canary Island Maritime Cluster. Hi everyone, I'm Carmen from Maritime Cluster of the Canary Island. Let me say a few words about our cluster. It is a not profit association with a regional scope whose main objective is to promote the development and international competitiveness of the maritime sector of the Canary Islands, in turn raising the business, economic and social fabric of the Canary Islands. Uh, our areas of activity are innovation, internationalization, communication and dissemination, training and business consulting. We are interested in renewable energy because in the Canary Island we are designated as the third place in Spain to install renewable energy, marine energy. We want to go along with our companies in the chain. In addition, we are open to all topics. Uh, well, that is from me. Thanks very much. Thank you. Going over to textile. To Lydia Morcillo Jordana. Good morning and thanks. Uh, Modak is the brand for Catalan Fashion Cluster. Uh, based in Barcelona, we have 150 companies. Modak promotes competitiveness of the Catalan fashion ecosystem. Uh, we focus our activity on the reinforcement of the fashion ecosystem's competitiveness in Catalonia through the cooperation with international companies and institutions. Catalan ecosystem that uh, we represent is 8% of the Catalan GDP, gathers 2,800 companies, 70,000 professionals, and exports in the amount of 6 million euros. We work in internationalization, innovation, industrialization, and training. Related to the internationalization, we are coordinators of a fascinating project called Sustainable Fashion Alliance for International Markets in Strand 1. Uh, with partners uh, in Catalonia, a digital cluster, a cluster textile technology and moda from Portugal, Bulgarian Fashion Association, and lifestyle and design cluster from Denmark. Um, our challenges are sustainability and digitalization. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to you. Uh, the Venetian cluster for the ecosystem tourism, but also interested in very different other ones. Uh, I will speak instead of Carlo of Time, uh, Gianangelo Bellati. Um, our cluster is competing for environment and uh, cultural heritage. We have about uh, 800 companies active, uh, especially in uh, the region of Venice. In our consortium, we have the four uh, Venetian universities, and we are Europe Direct Office. That means uh, we are partner of uh, the network of Euro Direct of European Commission, uh, Information Office of uh, the uh, European Commission. Uh, we are very much interested uh, in the coal. Until now, we managed the bow about 100 uh, project, European projects, and uh, for this call, uh, we are looking for partners uh, interested. Uh, the first one idea is uh, in the maintenance of the cultural heritage, to maintain the cultural heritage in Italy and in Europe is very difficult, especially if the cultural heritage is uh, 
is the property of private owners. Uh, that means that we have to find uh, uh, business activities or other activities that can help private or not private owners, even public owners, uh, to maintain the big, the enormous uh, cultural heritage uh, in Europe. The second one project is concerning environment, uh, concerning uh, uh, services and activities that uh, uh, we, we think to, uh, uh, to construct, to propose uh, to clusters uh, in the frame of the circular economy. For these two ideas, we are uh, building the project, we are uh, writing the project, uh, and if uh, uh, cluster are interested to be partner in, in Italy, but especially in other European countries, uh, we are very happy uh, to have a relation to exchange uh, ideas in, uh, uh, in uh, these two uh, project ideas. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, this was the last cluster that I had from um, the previous uh, who filled in the form to express their interest. So, um, Antonio, maybe I can give back to you. Or if anybody wants to speak who hasn't spoken yet and who hasn't expressed their interest in the form, I think now we still have time to open the microphone for others. Nina, there is another one that have uh, us in the chat to uh, intervene. So it's Romain Turminel from Systematic Paris Region. Bonjour, Romain. Are you there? Yes, I am here. Can you hear me? Yes, welcome. Okay, so good morning, everyone. I am working for Systematic Paris Region. We are uh, a cluster association based in Paris, and uh, we are uh, specifically focusing on deep tech technologies. So we are um, a powerful and diverse ecosystem with over 900 members, um, more or less 600 SMEs, 150 uh, large enterprises, 140 academics, and we are focusing on six on seven um, deep tech hubs uh, such as data science and artificial intelligence cyber and security digital infrastructure and iot uh, optics and photonics open source and drones and uh, we are really interested in um, joining a consortium for this uh, for this call. Uh, we are especially interested in the open strand or in the digital industries uh, strands. Uh, we are a partner already in Cosme project, in InnoSoup project, and in other uh, cascade funding projects. And uh, so I will put my email address in the in the chat so that you can contact me. Thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you to you, Remain. And now it's time to open the floor to any other attendant that would like to share with the rest uh, a brief presentation of uh, your cluster. Anyone? Okay, if I may. Um, sure. Okay. Oh. Sorry, so I'm Adrian from uh, the cluster Valorial. We are an agri food cluster based in France. We have about 370 members. Um, uh, we would like to participate in this call. However, we don't, uh, we don't have time to be the leader of any project for this time. But uh, if there's any uh, project uh, around the uh, food ingredients um uh, proteins uh, then we would be interested in uh, joining this project i will put my email in the chat thank you adrian okay another one yes good morning antonio good morning everyone uh, if if I could, so my name is uh, Marielle Campanella. I'm from uh, Pol SCS. I just wrote a, a short message in the chat. Uh, Pol SCS is uh, also a French uh, pool de compétitivité, French cluster, has uh, two previous persons who express themselves. Um, we are based in the southeast of France, Région Sud Provence Alpes Côte d'Azur, and we are specialized in uh, digital technologies. So mainly macroelectronics, AI, IoT, and uh, digital security. 
uh, those technologies mainly applied to um, e-health, uh, industry 4.0, transport and logistics, uh, smart cities and uh, smart vehicle. Uh, so we are interested in uh, ecosystems which are relevant to these five industrial fields plus the digital ones and the, the open one. Uh, we gather an ecosystem of 300 members, 70% of them being, uh, being SMEs. Uh, we have quite a uh, good experience in Industry you know, One with the coordination of uh, IoT for industry. Up to last year, the participation in the security in you know, and also participation in several uh, COSME. Uh, so my email address is on the chat and don't hesitate to come back to me if you're interested in any cooperation for the school or also other subjects. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you to you, Marielle. Okay, another one. Hello, can I present myself? For oh, sure. Yeah, okay. My name is Natasha Sivevska. I'm an um, executive director of Macedonian Textile Association, Textile Cluster. I'm happy that I participating in today's session. Very interesting. And I'm looking forward also for um, be a part of consortium of this call. Um, so we are a textile uh, cluster with 70 members. Um, our um, main activities are in export promotion but uh, recently very active in the field of uh, um, social compliance and supporting companies in uh, gaining a certificate for for improving their social compliance in the companies uh, also uh, we are working on the field of <clears throat> excuse me digitalization and um, um, exchanging experience uh, among the uh, clusters in the region. So uh, really, I'm looking forward if um, if there is a consortium in the textile sector, so we can cooperate on uh, this project. Uh, I will leave my email address in in the chat. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Okay, who else? Anyone else? Antonio, can I have a question? If maybe if there is no no other clusters that are presenting one question that maybe you will help me to interpret better. Please. Um, yeah, if if we create the partnership, let's say um, between the traditional uh, manufacturers, so clusters from the traditional industry and the clusters from the digital okay. industries. The digital partners can provide their services to the traditional clusters directly. So I don't know, they can um, help organize the hackathons and uh, uh, provide contacts with their digital companies. Or when it can say, be... When you say digital partner, you are referring to the, are you referring to the clusters or to the cluster members? I, I'm, re I'm referring, for example, if I'm going to, organ to, to create a partnership that I have the traditional lighting companies, the traditional lighting clusters from one side, and uh, other partners are digital clusters. And the topic, uh, one of the, the topic is to uh, facilitate the uh, application of the industry 5.0 technologies. So if these digital clusters that are my partners, uh, can provide me the capacity building trainings or can provide some uh, facilities to test the, um, the technologies. Can they do it directly or there is still this discussion that the project partners cannot provide the services to companies in a direct way? So they will have to subcontract or, um, I don't know, use some third partners to to do it i don't know if it's clear but uh, i i have this doubt when uh, when i'm read when we when we read the uh, the last meeting the proposal and there was written that the that the project partners cannot provide directly the support to companies or if they are doing it directly they have to go for the open call like the you know soups but this phrase that says that the partners cannot provide directly their services to the third parties and they need to limit their activities to coordinate these actions and to disseminate and communicate 
bring brought this doubt to me that for example if i will have the digital clusters as partners they will they, they will not be able to provide their services what where, where did, did where is it right in in that way sorry is no, it it's, it's in, in when it's clarified in the call document support to third parties they are uh, clarifying the different typologies of support. So they are saying that there is no possibility to provide direct services to third parties, or if you are going to do it, you need to um, use the open calls like in the InnoSoup uh, uh, project. And they said that the, pro that the activities of project partners, and I don't know right now the exact page of the call, is uh, may, shall be focused on coordinating the activities for third parties, communication, and management. So, you know, I'm, I'm quite concerned. I, I need to review it, okay? I don't, it, it, my understanding is different, okay? I think that what they don't allow but I could be mistaken. Eh? I need to be clear that I am not sure about what I am saying. My interpretation is that the um, what you cannot do is to uh, take money for the SMEs participating in the program for your services. So you, your services should not be paid by the uh, by the SMEs through the vouchers. Okay. If you are a, a, a member of the consortia, you cannot be paid for your services from the companies participating on the program. Mm -hmm. on the program. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, yes, exactly. So, in fact, in my opinion, this excludes a bit the partners that can provide the digital competences or the technology transfer because they will be forced to subcontract i don't know how to say it in other words is it can, is it right who can provide okay I, I i i'm not so sure okay i if if the project is covering your expenses on providing those services because you are including your, those services as part of the of the definition of the proposal okay and you are paid by the by by the money dedicated for the consortia itself okay i think that mm -hmm. it will work okay it could be mm -hmm. uh, proposed but i'm not sure okay i need to review it carefully okay it does that. i made the but, i made the query if you, provide, if you want to provide some services uh from your cluster members that is totally different your cluster member could be part of the of the I don't know the of the network that you build in order to support the development of the in that example to support to support the implementation of uh, industry for zero uh, solutions. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you say that, for example, when uh, if I have a digital cluster, they can we can uh, foresee I don't know the vouchers for testing facilities. Uh, for the mem the, to be let's say to be executed at the premises of the members of the digital cluster and it will be eligible. So in this way, the money for for the third parties are not going to the digital cluster, but are going to uh, eventually to its members. We are uh, idea. Uh, I, I mean the cluster idea. We are uh, working now on a in a sub project. Okay, in a sub yes. one project. Okay. In that case, we are facilitating for the raw materials industry the digital uh, digital approach okay and mm -hmm. our members have participated on the calls as any other SMEs across Europe okay in the yeah. same level okay but they have been able to participate on the calls and to suggest the the the, the their involvement on those uh, projects okay so it's not mm -hmm. that, that we are just um, picking uh, by hand who is participating in the project they they have they have uh, we have facilitated their involvement we have sent their information we have uh, give give them the support to make yes, proposals yes. okay? 
but it's a fair fair competition okay? yes this is this is the second option that you go for the open call so all companies have the same possibilities even if they are members or not so this is the what they wrote as the second possibility if you want to arrogate the financing directly to companies you need to go for the open call as the example of you know, that you just gave the issue that I have, and I ask them also, I send a query, but I'm still waiting. If it's regarding the um, the direct finance, the non-direct financing, so so yeah, I hope that they will answer. Sure. Perhaps Vladimir, do you want to comment? Yes, yes. I think uh, this call is even more challenging than Inusup, uh, as uh, Marta uh, discusses right now. Uh, actually, uh, the consortia partners, beneficiaries cannot provide service to, to their SMEs. These are not eligible, as I could understood uh, the, the call text. So it's even harder to implement than as in Inosub. And that's the question Marta has. So this is key a key key thing in this call to be clarified. You know that's why. Uh, maybe they they they, they uh, cannot <laughs> do it. That's why they have not answered the, the questions. Yeah, this, 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 this is one this of is the hard, questions. You know? Seventy-five should be then, according to the call text, seventy-five percent should be allocated via uh, calls as cascade funding. That's it. Hmm. We will review. And you organize the call. And you, 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 if you want to provide services, you must compete as with any other uh, supplier of those, those services. Even you <laughs> prepare the call <laughs> for that services. So I don't know. It's 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 key 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 issue in the, this call. And there there it. are many activities which are you know uh, the this the obligatory ones which are not not for for smes the training of cluster manager this is part of the 25 percent for sure it's not uh you know <laughs> for smes it's for clusters so when you put all together of these obligatory ones of obligatory uh, actions there is quite some of those within this 20, 25 percent and that's uh, a little bit uh, challenging uh, situation so it's really uh, important to clarify that 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 question thank you very good point i totally agree that it's critical to clarify it nina do you have any opinion on that i'm also not sure i think we should uh check and, and write again perfect okay good so it's time to close, but before closing, I want to recommend you to save the date and for sure to attend the uh, next meeting of uh, our alliance. Okay, it will be next Tuesday, 19 at 3 p.m. because we are joining with American um, clusters and American resources. Okay, and it will be dedicated to the low carbon business actions for the americas okay this invitation is not only for clusters; it's also for companies and entities interested in working on that um, topic okay and i will share now in the chat the link to the registration from okay so i really invite you and encourage you to attend okay uh we we have said also the link in the chat of the, our uh, youtube channel okay please uh, subscribe to it because we need just four more subscribers in order to per, to be able to personalize the channel to improve it it's a rule from from youtube so please do it and uh, we will I, I don't know, most probably we will have another meeting on this call in the next weeks, but uh, I think that before it, we need to attend the 
open day, you know, on the 20th. And later we will see. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for attending, for sharing, for uh, participating on, on this call. Or, and see you soon, I hope. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye everyone.